so welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. So today I was thinking that maybe we should make curry chicken, vegan curry chicken. I think I'm going to use jackfruit because jackfruit seems to be that ingredient that everybody is a little apprehensive about using. Me and Jack, if you've watched my videos before, we have a love-hate relationship. So I'm going to make this curry chicken for you guys. We're going to try it, and I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is get our jackfruit ready. This is what I'm using, canned jackfruit. And this is um, young jackfruit in brine. So... This one is from Trader Joe's, but you could get jackfruit in the can um, mostly at farmer's markets, um, Asian markets will have them. So they're sometimes easy to, easy to find, sometimes not so much, but they're becoming easier and easier to find. So I'm gonna throw off this brine. Now jackfruit in the can does have a briny taste to it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna break it down. This is what it looks like. So the jackfruit will look like that, okay? I'm gonna leave them cold just like this. I'm gonna put them in a bowl and then I'm gonna soak it in some water. I'm gonna let this... So some people will boil the jackfruit in order to get rid of that briny taste. However, we're gonna put it in curry. Curry is so um, flavorful that it's gonna take away most of the taste, but I still want to just let it soak just a little bit in some water just to get off that canned briny taste, okay? So while that's soaked, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move over to the stove and we're gonna start the rest of the ingredients. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and get my skillet heated and I'm using, using a Dutch oven. I like the heaviness of it because it holds a lot of heat and I could saute really well. So I'm using my Dutch oven. I'm gonna add some oil to this, to this pot. I will have all of the ingredients listed below. So don't worry about it. Just kind of follow me now with the directions. But I'll have, like I said, the ingredients listed below with the measurements of what I'm using. Okay, so I put oil in there and I'm gonna get that started. Now we're gonna move back over to this side. Okay, and we got an onion, we got a, a potato, and we also have a garlic. So let's peel a couple of cloves of garlic. I think I'll do like three cloves of garlic. All right, let's get that all peeled up. All right, guys. So like I said, me and Jack, mm, we have a love-hate relationship, but the texture of jackfruit is so close to chicken, the fibers of it, that I'm like, you know, it does make a really good curry. So that's why I wanted to do this recipe for you guys. And what I love with curry is that you could use almost about any type of meat substitute with it. But jackfruit, I wanna give you guys more jackfruit recipes. So let's chop up the garlic. And they don't have to be completely like finely chopped. All right, so we get that done. I have half an onion here. I'm gonna get that cut up. And I know you guys always ask me about that little onion cover, especially for your new viewers. This little onion cover, I love it. It's from Ikea. It comes in like a three pack. I don't know what it's called. Cause you know, Ikea has those like Swedish names. So I'm not sure what it's called, but it comes in like a three pack and they have it for onions, lemons. Um, they have it to cover your bowls. If you need to cover your bowls. I really love it. I love the silicone um, texture of it because it, you can stretch it. All right, so I'm just rough chopping some onions. They don't have to be perfectly chopped. Just kind of rough chopping it here. It's all going to be cooked down into that sauce. All right, so we got that going. And I'm going to peel. And yes, you guys are going to watch me peel this potato. And I, some people use a potato peel. I don't know. Maybe it's the Jamaican in me. This is the way I peel my potato. It's just faster to me. And I know a lot of you are probably saying, but you're taking off so much of the skin. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. I just find this just to be so much faster than a potato peel. 
All right, so this is just one Idaho potato because it's pretty starchy, so it's gonna give us a nice creaminess to the sauce. Uh, let's get that cut, right? <laughs> let's get this out of the way. And we're gonna make little cubes of this potato, okay? So this is how I kind of make my cubes. All right, they're about that big. All right, so let's do this one. And this dish, uh, I wouldn't say it's the easy, it's easy to do, but I would say as far as time, it takes a little bit, because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the jackfruit, and that takes a little bit of time, but this part is super easy. All right, so we got all of this, perfect. We're gonna take my board and we're gonna move to the other side. Now the oil is nice and hot. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna place my onions and my garlic into the hot oil. Cause we're just trying to get that nice and translucent. So come on in so they can see what I'm doing. All right, got the onions in there. Just move them around so they get coated with the oil. I'm gonna turn that to low to kind of sweat it out a little bit, okay? All right, so let's let, leave that alone because we're gonna go back to this side while that is sweating out. And remember the jackfruit? We're just gonna pour off the water. So see, it didn't take that long to like kind of sit there. We're just gonna pour out the water now, sometimes just to make sure I get all the water out, I use a dishcloth, okay? I'm going to put my jackfruit into the dishcloth. You probably saw me do this with the uh, jerk jackfruit. I'm just going to get some of that, more of that water out. But I'm not really squeezing that hard because I really don't want to break down too much of this jackfruit because I still want those pieces to feel like, you know, like chicken. All right, put it right back into the bowl. That's what it looks like. Okay, now we're gonna season this up. We're gonna use, let me grab it out of the, um, out of the seasoning pantry, liquid aminos. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna season with liquid aminos. And the reason why I like to use liquid aminos with the jackfruit is because it's liquid. And because all those nooks and crannies needs to be seasoned. It needs to be seasoned, guys. I like to use the liquid seasoning. So that's what I'm gonna put on there. I'm gonna add a little uh, pepper, little ground black pepper, okay? Let's get as much as we can here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil. And again, I'll have the measurements for you guys. And I'm just gonna mix that up. Get it all nice and juicy. You probably heard hear that already, right? So it's nice, it's moist. Now we're gonna take this. You could do um, whatever you guys may have. I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet. I'm just gonna place the jackfruit right in there. And I'm gonna place this in the oven. And that's what's nice about um, the cast iron skillet because it goes right in the oven. My oven is on 400. I'm gonna place this in there. Now, you might be asking, why the oven? Why not fry it? Because when we get that curry gravy, that curry sauce, it will make the jackfruit too mushy if we cook the jackfruit right in the sauce right now, if that makes sense. Curry chicken, as I can remember growing up in Jamaica, you have pieces of chicken. It's not shredded or um, soggy or anything like that. So in order to keep the texture, to keep it firm, I'd rather put it in the oven, bake it till it gets nice and brown, make my sauce, and then add it to the sauce. Uh-huh, got me. All right, okay, that's what we're gonna do. So, all right guys, so come on in. The onions have become translucent, as you can see. All right, so now we're gonna add some curry. Let me get a little spoon. So 
we're gonna add curry powder right to the oil and the garlic. And we're trying to release all of the essence and the oils from the curry powder. So that's why we're putting it right into the oil right now. I'm gonna turn my flame just back up a little bit, get that those spices combined and released. Okay. Get that flame up a little bit. Come on, Pop. Come on, come on, come on. We got people watching. We gotta come up. All right. All right. I don't like my curry too burnt. So this is the point that I like mine. And that literally probably was like 30 seconds, maybe, maybe a minute. Now we're gonna add in the potatoes. Okay, so I'm adding in all the potatoes. And it may seem like a lot of potatoes, but we're really trying to get this dish to be really hearty. Because we only got a couple of pieces of jackfruit and the potatoes are gonna kind of cook down a little bit. All right, so we added in the potatoes, kind of mix that up a little bit, get it all coated. Again, trying to get the um, curry to get infused with the potatoes. I don't just like to throw the potatoes into just the sauce. I like for it to really kind of get like a little coated, a little brown with the with the curry. All right. Okay, so come on in so you can see the potatoes. It's dried out a little bit, which is perfect. That's what we want. We want there to be like, you see how the pot is dry on the bottom? That's what we want right there. That means the potato have absorbed all the nice curry spices. So now I'm gonna add the other seasonings. I'm gonna add some cloves, all right? And this is about a um, half a teaspoon or so of cloves. And this is powder cloves, sorry, ground cloves. We add that in. I'm gonna add some cumin in, a couple dashes. I'm gonna add some allspice. Okay, oh, <laughs> wrong cover. All right, let me get these out of the way. Kind of mix that up a little bit, get that in there. I'm gonna add my scotch bonnet pepper, and this is how I usually do it. I'll just pull out the top stem, okay? Create a little hole with my knife, but I'm not really cutting into it. So just a little hole like that, and I'm just gonna pop it right in the center of the pot. This way it will flavor the pot without adding pepper to the pot. Does that make sense? All right, so now this is nice and dried out. Come on in so I can see, show it to you. See, it's nice and dry. All the uh, flavor is on those potatoes. Perfect, perfect. Now we're gonna add some liquid. We are going to add, this is my chicken broth and it's vegan chicken broth. I use the better than bouillon, vegan chicken base, added it to some warm water and that is my chicken broth. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. Again, I'll have the measurements for you guys. I'm gonna add some coconut milk because this recipe wouldn't be Michelle without coconut milk, right? So I'm gonna add some coconut milk. It looks like a little, I need a little bit more. So let me add a little bit more. All right. So while you guys are watching, let me do it now. Get the rest of it into my container for the, the refrigerator. Okay, perfect. Now we can mix this, come on in, combine it all. All right, and this is what we have. We have a nice pot of goodness. We're gonna let that simmer down a little bit before we add any of the other ingredients. All right guys, let's check on the gravy. Come on in, so this is what it looks like. It's nice and thick, which I love. So it's nice and juicy, mm-hmm. So let me taste it and see what we need, what needs to be added to the flavor, because this is perfect. This is cooking up just right. I probably allowed it to cook, it's probably been cooking for maybe about five to seven minutes. All right. Let's try. Mm, that's nice. That is nice. When I tell you that um, Beyond Bouillon base, oh, it sounds like my jackfruit's ready. All right, we'll come back to that. 
that beyond bouillon base is everything. It gives it a real the chicken flavor that we need, right? So I'm gonna add some black pepper because it tastes like it needs a little black pepper. So you go ahead and you know add what you need now. I'm gonna also add, let me just blend that in a little bit. Let me go over here. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna add some thyme. So I have my bunch of thyme here. All I did, I took a, a little bundle of it and I wrapped it with some twine. This way the stems won't get into the, um, into the food. And I'm gonna take a stem of green onion or scallion and I'm just gonna kind of rough cut that. I'm gonna pop it right into the pot to give it some more added flavor. That's gonna give it that real authentic Caribbean flavor. Let's put that in there. I'm also gonna add some carrots. And guys, I could've used a whole carrot and just kinda dice them, but I don't feel like it. Whatever, right? So I'm just gonna use a little bit of oh, shredded carrots. I'm just gonna throw that in there. All right, just so you'll have some like a little, little carrot flavor, I'm gonna put that. Let that simmer down a little couple more minutes. Let me check on the potatoes. Potatoes are almost ready. Mm -hmm. All right, let that simmer down a little. Let's get the flavor of the thyme going through there. And then we can add the jackfruit. All right, guys, the jackfruit, I think, is ready. All right, let's check on this. I'm going to move back a little bit. It looks good. Ooh, it looks good. It's hot. Let the heat come out a little bit. All right, here we go. The jackfruit is ready. That's what you want it to look like. It's perfect. So basically I cooked the jackfruit on 400. Let's turn this off. In the oven for 25 minutes, I flipped it halfway through and look at it. You got nice brown, beautiful pieces of jackfruit that looks like chicken. So all we're gonna do now is just transfer the jackfruit to the curry. Oh, hot, pot hot, <laughs> to the curry sauce. Um, I turned the flame off on the curry because it is cooked, it is ready. Let's take a look. Coming close. See, look at that, look at that creamy sauce. Oh my Lord, look at that. Mm. Good, good, good. I tasted it, mm. it's good. So let me just get a spatula and transfer the um, jackfruit to the curry. All right, let's do it. This is the easiest way to do it. I just do that, pop it in. See, it just looks like chicken. And again, the, the reason I do it this way, I mean, everybody have their way of doing it. I just hate when the jackfruit pieces just, and I'm sitting in Jamaica, mash up, mash up. It just, I don't like it. It, it just, it just tastes like mash up, mash up curry food. I don't like that. I want to taste like pieces of jackfruit. Like, feel like, like even though I'm plant-based, even though I'm vegan, I want it to still taste like the way I remember it growing up. All right, look at that. We got some curry chicken. It's in there. And now the jackfruit is going to just kind of absorb all of this curry goodness. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, let's plate it up, guys. Let's taste it. Guys, it's tasting time. Woo, so excited. All right, so I got my, my, my plate. I have my rice, and we're gonna flip it right in there. So that's how you get that nice little shape to your rice. Let's go in here and get the curry chicken, <laughs> right? The curry chicken. Um, you can now, I see the pepper. That scotch bonnet pepper, you might want to remove it from the pot now, just so you don't have any accidents and you eat it by, by accident and burn your mouth up. But there's the jackfruit. We're going to load that up. Oh my goodness, look at that. We're going to get some sauce. Look at that goodness, guys. And just in case y'all are wondering, damn, she going to eat all that? Not really. This, the big bowls are usually for my husband. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, but I usually taste from it. But that's it. Look at the pieces of chicken, jackfruit chicken. I know all of a sudden my, my accent change up. Mm, it's, it's so good. I already tasted it. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. All right, ready? Whew, let it cool down a little bit. Get everything hot. The rice hot. Everything hot. But here we go. Let's dig in right in here. We get some of the sauce first. 
I know y'all sitting there saying, what about her accent change? It's the curry. The curry. Oh my God. I can't even say nothing. Anybody who's hating on plant-based food, come in close. I just want you to see. So when I broke into the jackfruit, you see how that looked like chicken? See, I just broke into it. So you have nice whole pieces. This look like when you cook curry chicken and you, you break into the thigh. That's what it looks like. That's what I wanted. I don't want mash up, mash up, mash up chicken. Mm -mm. All right, let's taste this now. It's freaking perfect. I can't wait till y'all try this recipe. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm not gonna stuff my mouth because I noticed in the videos, I'm always talking with food in my mouth and it's kind of nasty. So let me swallow. Y'all gotta try this recipe. This, I, I did it. I did it. I love it. Y'all have to try this recipe. All right guys, I did another recipe. We did another recipe in my vegan kitchen. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe. If you love this platform, subscribe to my vegan kitchen life. I have plenty of recipes. Sorry, I can see the food. I can feel the food. I have plenty of recipes that I want to share with you guys. I just burst in with just excitement. I can't wait to finish this food. Again, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again in my vegan kitchen. Bye guys.